So if you guys want to catch a message or if this is your first time joining, you can definitely catch all of the messages in the first one. There's motivation there. Um, also, I answered a lot of questions about dating, confidence, and everything. So if you guys want to catch that first live, you can definitely catch it. It will be up until tomorrow. So, yeah, you can definitely catch that one. Thank y'all. Let me pull this up a little bit. <laughs> So, um, I just want to answer this question before I forget it. I hope the girl is back in here. Um, I use LA Pro Girl Concealer. Um, do I let the guy, um, do I tell the guy what I want on the first day or do I let him leave? So, first of all, I feel like every guy that comes in contact with me kind of knows what I'm about just by looking at me. <laughs> They know I'm not going to show up to coffee. They know I'm not going to do nothing cheap. And they can tell by my attitude that I'm clearly a very demanding person. So, uh, <laughs> don't have any problems there. So, <laughs> so uh, usually they already know what I want by looking at me or looking at my photos or if they talk to me in person. Um, but I do... Um, I let them answer a lot of the ask a lot of the questions, ask me a lot of the questions on the first date. Uh, usually, they're uh, asking me a lot about you know stuff, experiences that I've had in the past or how I was dating in the past, and that's how I communicate with them what I'm expecting from them. Okay, that's how I do that. Okay, so I let them know like, yes, such and such, we went here. You know, I. You know, I'm a big fan of traveling with the person I'm dating, so that's very important for me. Um, I don't know if that's something you've ever done before. Um, even though that's a lie because I hate traveling with guys. I just want to see what they're going to say. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a total lie. <laughs> I only like traveling with friends, okay? <laughs> you know, like, that's a total lie. I just want to see what they're going to say because if they like, Oh no, sweetie. We is not going on no trips and no nothing with you. Oh no. Nah. <laughs> I ain't doing that. <laughs> then that X you already done. Now you're gonna have now you already done before you started. Now you're gonna have to pay for this whole entire meal and this whole entire date. <laughs> and I'm you never gonna see me again. So yeah. Um <laughs> So that's how I basically tell them. But I'm basically telling them that. Because you know how guys always like to ask about exes and everything like that. You know, so if they start asking me a bunch of questions. Because I'm generally quiet on the first date or when they're talking to me. Because I want to hear what they're saying and what they're asking me. You know? Um, and I just think people... People just love, like, asking me questions. I don't know. But, um... So when I'm talking to them, I don't be telling them, oh yeah, my man swiped the visas. He took me to Saks Fifth Avenue, you know, shopping trips only, baby. <laughs> Five star restaurants, first class flights, that's all we did together. <laughs> if you ain't about that, <laughs> then we can't be together. <laughs> it's like, I don't do all that, okay? I don't do all of that. I just be like, I just will tell them like, yeah, we went to a few nice places. Like, have you been to such and such restaurant? Yeah, we used to go there all the time. That was my favorite spot, you know. Uh, we did go to um, Africa, um, you know, um, just stuff like that. And I think it's important because, you know, you get to get to know somebody while you're on a trip with them. Now, that's all a fucking lie. But it's good to see what they're going to say because, you know... If they're, like, saying some weird stuff, like, oh, no, baby, we's not doing that. <laughs> we not going on no trips, baby. Then it's like, I don't even want to be around you because now I know that it's not even something you're considering. So I already know what it's about to be like dating you, you know? So, yeah. That's how I, that's how I go about that. What do you do if you're on a date and they just start saying everything wrong and you know it's not going to work out? Do you just leave? What do you say? Um, I finished my food, okay? Because whatever I ordered, I was probably waiting on. 
And then I laugh and laugh and laugh at whatever they're saying all the way back home, right as I'm blocking their number as I'm going in the door. <laughs> That's what I do. I block their number right as I go, right as I'm walking in the door. <laughs> I'd be like, oh yeah, oh that's your, oh that's what you like. Mm, oh okay, ooh, ooh. oh. So you never, you did that to your ex? Oh, ooh. I know she was mad about that. <laughs> oh, oh you like that? Okay, okay. Oh, oh. that's what you, that's what you expect women to do. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's cool with me. <laughs> me to get up out of here so um i'm just gonna have to uh i'm gonna hit you when i get home okay and then i go home and block their motherfucking number hey like, i'm full now i'm about to take a nap okay like <laughs> i'm full i'm about to go take a nap okay and call them and after that i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna call my friends and be like girl guess guess what just happened that's exactly what i do that's what I do. Because <laughs> that is the devil. <laughs> if he just come and act an ass on a date, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's just not that hard to act nice, to at least pretend and fake it, you know? So if somebody come and act like a complete and total ass, it's just something wrong with them, you know? Like... It's just not, it's not going down. So I sit there, I enjoy my food. Um, you find that you're an alpha woman. And how do you turn that off around an alpha man? You don't have to turn off your personality. Um, I forgot. I be forgetting y'all be having all these, um, titles for having like a personality you know we got the oh, i'm a infj i'm a alpha woman i'm a divine feminine i'm a christian you know um um i'm a whatever just be yourself you know i'm not like i said on twitter i'm not um I'm a virgin. I don't know. Y'all virgins, I don't know why y'all think that's a personality trait, but, like, it's not. <laughs> um, but, um, literally, just be yourself. Like, because people will respect you more if you're just yourself, you know? Like, just be yourself. Because, um, if you turn off a part of your personality or who you are around people, they're going to notice it. And they're going to notice that you're acting a little bit weird. Because it's very easy for people to understand or see when you're acting like off, you know. It's a little bit, it's, uh, it's noticeable, you know. Because everybody can tell when something's uh, like just unnatural to you, you know. So, um, just... Be cool with it, you know? Just be like, you know, this is who I am. You don't have to go and be like, look, <laughs> you about to pay for this meal today, nigga. <laughs> like, you don't have to be like that. <laughs> and you don't have to be like that. But you can definitely just be yourself. Like, I'm not particularly, like, too feminine or too, like, <laughs> or too, like, uh, masculine or anything, like, if you guys see me walk around, I walk around like I have, like, a Tech 9 on me, okay? <laughs> like, I really am not in heels. So, like, it's not, you don't have to, like, be too, too feminine or, like, try to turn off a part of your personality. And the thing is, like, I'm very, like, I guess, I guess you would call it alpha female. I just call it being myself. And, um men think I'm very sexy so and it's because I'm very comfortable with myself and you know who I am
So yeah, you don't have to be like, you know, had to hold a gun to his head. What, what I tell you, nigga? Mm, put that motherfucker car there. You know, you don't have to be like that. <laughs> Yeah, he need to get deleted. Um, I mean, you eat, you talk in between bites, you know. And he, I guess you just don't have to stuff your mouth. Do you feel uh, bad going on dates with older men? You know, you guys, I really date men of all ages. I, everybody I date is not old. Um, and honestly, the older men that I've dated, they all look very good. So, no, I never feel bad being seen with them. They always take really good care of themselves. So, yeah. Nobody ever asked me to split the bill at the end of a date. Um... No, you shouldn't message them. Um, take care of them. Um, <laughs> do I feel bad about the patriarchy or feel bad when men are paying on dates? Listen, I said this before, but I know a lot of y'all knew. <laughs> what y'all talking about on social media, what's going on with the government and the patriarchy, that ain't got nothing to do with what's with my punani, okay? What I say is what's going down over here. I don't give a fuck about what's what's going on with the pay tax and everything over there. If you want to see me, then <laughs> you already know. You you already know what to do or you could get on. You know, I don't I don't I my my pussy has nothing to do with what y'all talk about on the internet with the patriarchy and the the tax and uh wage gap i don't care about none of that it's this is what you're going to be doing or you don't you're i'm not coming out of my house <laughs> so no no i don't if they want if they want to go date somebody who is comfortable with paying or whatever or you know they want somebody who's going to split bills on dates it's plenty of people out there that's doing it it's plenty of people they don't have to come over here so it's a choice <laughs> a choice that they happily make okay <laughs> so yeah i don't i don't the patriarchy ain't got nothing to do with what i'm doing with my body and the, and why i get dressed and get out of bed because the patriarchy ain't paying for this makeup the patriarchy ain't pay for these uh, clothes to get on my body. So if this person wants me to come fully dressed and hospitable, like I want to be there, then they need to be prepared. <laughs> okay? Yeah. I don't have... Uh, that, this social media stuff about, like, ain't trying to connect that to what I do with my body and my time, and it actually has nothing to do with that. Nobody, the patriarchy, the Lord, the Bible, none, none of I decide the rules for my body, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> patriarchy ain't got nothing to do with what I get out of bed for, so yeah, you know, like, um, government they don't the government does not care about me showing up to Levi with Johnny okay they do not care so that don't have nothing to do with what I'm doing with my time um um
police did not get stuck in a friend zone. You gotta block them, boo. Mm -hmm. I don't do no friend zones. That's so. That's a first for me. Um, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't need to be friends with no guys for real. Like that, unless I determine that we are friends. No. He's not going to tell me, oh, you're just a friend that I'm talking to. <laughs> no, that's not happening over here. Uh, yes, I have a video about dating. Has, of course, you should know where they work. Um, yeah, friends with guys is just not that amazing. And I'd be damned if some guy is telling me, oh, yeah, I'm going to be talking to these girls over here, but you, sweetie, you go sit over there. <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be the day. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can meet people anywhere. Anywhere. Just leave your house. I'm telling you, as thirsty as men are, just leave your house. They'll talk to you. They'll find you. <laughs> you don't have to go too far. You don't have to do too much. You don't have to do too much. You can't even log on social media. <laughs> it's, not, it's not many places you can go where you cannot not be bothered by men. So, I don't know. If, if y'all know some places where you can't be bothered by men, let me know so I can move there. Okay? Tell me. Because I would love to have that sense of peace. That this slice of peace. I would love that. Let me know. Hit me up, okay? Hit me up, daddy. Now you're not home because they be trying to call you, man. They be trying to call you, trying to text you. Can't even relax. Be trying to like your pictures, comment on stuff, message you. Hey, hey. Actual Black Mermaid, hey. It's annoying. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about, having hobbies. I went to a class to learn computer programming, found a software engineer. I'm telling y'all, networking, knowing what you're doing, um, having goals for yourself, having a vision, all of that, you know? Like, all of that. Like, you don't need to... You could just leave your house and there will be a, go somewhere. Go somewhere looking just halfway cute, okay? And they will find you. You don't have to do you don't have to put too much research into that, okay? You don't even have to put too much you don't have to put too much thought into that. You just got to go out your house, leave out of your house. Matter of fact, log off of here. Leave. <laughs> but uh oh yeah, let me let me do the quick spill since I have an, enough people here to do it. Um so my sessions are a $95 session uh for 10 questions. Nobody ever finishes their questions because my goal is to get you to see some success before you actually have to finish your questions. That's why there are only 10. So all of y'all that's hit me up from like two years ago talking about something, I got one question left or two questions left. Everybody has one or two questions left because everybody, all of y'all seen success before your 10 questions was over. That's why you're coming back a year later, two years later. So yeah, uh, I do not do any therapy. I am not patient enough to hear about these dusty jabronis y'all be asking me about in these lives. I'm not doing that in my sessions, okay? This, this is free, okay? I'm not doing this in my sessions because this is just, uh, I can't imagine reading a bunch of emails about that. You come to me when you are ready to date, okay? When you have time to date. Um... Do not book a dating coach if you don't have time to date. Dating coaches are luxury service. It's, even though I'm the most affordable and the most accessible, also the one with the most success, <laughs> um, it doesn't mean that it's 
something that you have to do or that everybody should do. You don't have you don't need to book a dating coach if you have no time to date. You don't need to book a dating coach if you're comfortable with how you've been doing things. I'm for people who want to move up, you know? So that's why I don't pressure people to book and I don't uh, do too much promoting because I don't want people to feel pressured to come to me because coming to me is a life change. That's not something you should be pressured into doing, you know? That's something you have to be ready to do and come to do on your own. Also, all y'all girls with these ripped jeans that be asking me, oh, I want to get a sugar daddy, all that. No. <laughs> Just no. Okay? <laughs> Just no. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Um... <laughs> All y'all coming with y'all green lace fronts and these ripped jeans that look like holy drawers. Talk about something. I'm ready for a sugar daddy. Millionaires only. <laughs> I'm not going through that with y'all. And y'all people that's trying to scam people out of their life insurance policies. Okay, that's not what we're doing over here. I'm going to snitch on you in court because I don't know you. I got like a hundred other, other clients to work with. You think they going you think they gonna appreciate if I just gotta dip out in the jail for a year or two? No. <laughs> no. No. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> not going down. Also, y'all young young girls, this the dating advice part is not for you. You don't need to be worried about no dating, okay? I didn't even start dating seriously, seriously until I was like 19 years old. Like before then, I was just partying with my girls, getting my work done, going to school, traveling, you know? That's it. Y'all young girls talking about something. Yeah, I need a date up. Girl, who you gonna go? Where you gonna go? <laughs> Where you going? <laughs> Where you going, okay? You do not need to. You do not need to worry about that. Okay? So, yeah, y'all scammers. Y'all people that's trying to uh, get your baby daddy back from his new girlfriend or uh, the husband back from the new wife or something. I'm uh, not getting involved in that. It's too much drama. Okay? My clients don't even... <laughs> my clients don't even have had that type of drama. Okay? They just win it. They just wake up win. That's it. You know? Mm-hmm. You know, so all y'all, actually, all y'all that stuck on these husbands and everything like that, just take the divorce money and go. You know, if he has some money, just take and the baby daddies, just put him on child support. You don't need to book no dating coach to get your baby daddy back. Just put him on child support. Okay? That not only is am I saving you $95 right now, but there you go. Support. Okay? Or sacrifice them to an Illuminati. Whatever. Either way, you get paid, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Just say it. Just sacrifice it. Just email the Illuminati. Illuminati at gmail.com. <laughs> Oh, y'all better get it. You know, make some money. <laughs> make some money. You don't need to get him back. Make some money off him. Shoot. Yeah. $95 session. I get you back. I get you good and out of there in under 10 because I want everybody to go on with their lives so I can work with new people. Okay. I can't have a backup of a bunch of old clients. And new clients, I would never get any sleep. So that's why I try to get everybody to see success and follow along. And I'm very, very detailed. I send very long messages, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh, he your babysitter? Oh, man. See? 
Sis, we might have to hire you another babysitter so we can sacrifice him to the Illuminati because they be paying. They be paying, okay? They be paying. I have to get you a new babysitter. We could afford all the babysitters. When we sacrifice him, we could get all the babysitters. All of them. Okay? Just have him sleeping at your house. <laughs> and get all the babysitters. Sacrifice them, okay? You know, all you, uh, <laughs> all, um, you know what's funny? Y'all young girls who are worried about dating, I really was not thinking about guys, like, the most we were doing was partying. Me and my friends were, like, traveling, bringing into clubs, like, just to party and take pictures and say that we went there. I moved to California and lived there for a year when I was 18 or 19 like and before that I was working and saving and going out all the time I literally was not even dating seriously I think I went on a few dates like 15 16 like like here and there literally like I would not say more than like three a year maybe maybe and uh like, I didn't even start taking dating seriously or guys seriously in general until, like, I was, like, 19 years old. Like, legit, that was when I actually, that was when I would say I started dating. After that, I, I mean, before then, it was like, I was partying. I was focused on my goals. I was saving up because I just knew I was going to be successful somehow. And I was like, look, I'm about to try all these different types of ways, okay? Like... And we did everything. Me and my friends did everything. Like, we literally lived like fucking rock stars. <laughs> like, for a long time. So, yeah. It's like, guys are always going to be there, you know? But right now, you guys need to be focused on what you actually want for your life. How you see yourself in your life. You know, even if, even if it changes... Uh, in the future you gotta at least have some type of vision some type of goal because once you start working on that guys are always going to be around okay they are annoying they just always around okay they're always around like it's nothing you can do okay they're always around so you guys do not have anything to worry about when it comes to meeting guys ever okay it's nothing you can do because they won't go away so you have a long life to be annoyed with men please cherish this time when you have the least amount of access to them okay please Please. <laughs> they never go the fuck away. <laughs> Tell you. Yes, they are like roaches. Oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. Like, you do not have anything to worry about. I'm telling you. You could be old with the saggiest titties and the saggiest ass. It's going to be about three or four guys trying to sniff up them saggy titties you have nothing to worry about okay y'all don't need to be worried about guys okay there's no reason they're always going to be annoying right and see my phone been drier than ever that's only because you're not settling if you really if you really really wanted to have guys on your line and settle for whoever you know that you could have other options it's not, it's not hard because they you know even even online you know i try to keep my space a very you know girl femme femi 
non-binary people i try to keep my space very empowering towards those people and for some reason guys still try to follow my content it's crazy i'm like y'all just annoying but yeah um you guys just gotta all you gotta do is uh focus on yourself you don't need to focus on nothing else right now you know yeah you're doing well on that settling okay um you're doing well on that settling i keep my phone dry anyway because even if i'm talking to them i block them <laughs> if i feel like talking so <laughs> my phone is always quiet <laughs> i talk when i feel like talking but don't do that though that's just me i'm i'm a very busy person a very busy person <laughs> I'm a very busy person I like to keep my phone you know so I don't have a bunch of distractions and everything I just like to keep it quiet just like it it's better that way but that's what I like to do you know I almost gave him another chance but he was sweet I can't abandon myself for company exactly I love you too um yeah and don't and the thing is like you really have to pass up on good to get to great okay so sometimes even you know it's been so many guys that i've dated and they take taking me shopping taking me on all these dates flew me stuff somewhere or they flew to me you know all this stuff and you know it was a little bit like hard to uh it was a little bit hard yeah i don't have a problem with messaging them if i if i have time to talk but um it was a little bit hard when it had to not work or like they did something and i was like hmm, that's not going to work in your best interest <laughs> especially with me it's not going to work for me so i had to get rid of them and even um you know, even with them taking me on all these romantic dates and being so sweet to me, oh my God, the sex is so amazing, ooh, you know, I still had to be like, look, I'm going to pass up on you because this is not working for me, and got to great, and then even greater, and then even greater, and it only keeps going up, so, especially if you're just following me, I'm sure you're just at the beginning of your path or at your new dating life with setting new ideals and new goals and new things that you want for yourself so wherever you starting from with these guys just know that following me it's only going to get better it's only going to get greater because everybody in my comments and my dms and my emails going from no dates to getting diamonds so it's like just just follow along got you got you baby but you don't have nothing to worry about you don't have nothing to worry about like it's only going to get better because the thing is when you've already had great the next person they can already smell it off you number one they can already smell it off you um uh but you already know that you're not going to go back you can't, you can't go back after you've already had something that set the standard you can't you can't go back it's just like ugh, uh, ugh, ugh. you know it literally will make your skin crawl going back and you just be like hell no hell no like it's like being dragged back into a cage or something like even if you fall off for a minute you're gonna be like what the fuck was i doing like like you're gonna be going crazy so yeah when you step yourself up it's no going back. It's no going back. It's really not. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Something better is always coming. And the thing is, it's not it's not that, oh, they're just greater coming. It's the new standard that you set for yourself and how you're how you just proliferate that through the way that you talk, the way that you carry yourself, the places that you go. You just meet better people, people you speak to people a different way and they know exactly by how you're talking and how you're carrying yourself that they can't really bring nothing that's going to be subpar your way because they already know they wouldn't get an opportunity with you and that's exactly how better comes right there that's how it comes it doesn't just oh 
greatness is walking into my life. No, you are the greatness that they have to match. You know, and when, when your greatness levels up, then the more, more people that come your way, they try to match that because they want a part of you. They want to be a part of your life. So the way that they have to do that is by matching the greatness that they already see when they meet you be by the way that you're talking the way you dress yourself you know the way you speak about yourself the way you speak about your experiences the experiences that you have had this is why it's very important to dress well too like you don't have to be in a louboutins and all of that because like i said before that's overselling it but um just the way that you're carrying yourself and everything like that like it all it's not greatness being rained down into your life. It's people people will come into your life and try to match your own greatness that you have you have set for yourself. And those who haven't unlocked that, those who haven't unlocked their own greatness or who haven't gotten to a point where they're comfortable with saying, Look, I'm a I'm that bitch, you know. That's why those are the people that keep running into the same lackluster dates and stuff over and over again because they haven't figured out a different way of carrying themselves talking to different types of people like it's a whole lifestyle change accepting your own greatness and people and it sounds like so easy like oh yeah i'm just going to accept that i'm great today but no it's it's application that goes into that and that's what i try to get out to you guys every day you know my date in life before did you ever date broke men if so what was your break for i mean the only time i feel like i dated broke men was when i was in school you know like i was in high school they were in school nah can't even say that because honestly one of the guys that i dated he did fly me to la for spring break me and my friends so um um Nah. No. It's just never happened for me. But I don't think broke men like me like that. You know, they they kind of, I think a lot of broke men, uh, they're not really attracted to women like me. Um, we have nothing to talk about. You know, if I'm talking about being in power and getting money, you know, being on your grind, empowerment, ah, they like, mm, that bitch is weird. I'm, I'm about that jabroni life, okay? I'm trying to live that broke life, you know? <laughs> Cockroaches and bed bugs, baby, over here, that's what we doing. I don't know what you're doing. Like, that's how they looking at me, you know? They're not, they're not really paying no attention. They're not really even trying to talk to me. They're not... They, a lot of them are afraid to even come my way, you know? They don't really approach me. So, yeah, that 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 doesn't happen. Um, but a breaking point, I never had a breaking point, like, over guys because, like, they're men, you know? <laughs> like, they're men. I don't really have a breaking point over them, you know? Uh, <laughs> that's what they like they like girl we sleeping on we doing mattress on floors over here at our mama's house like all this talk you talk about getting money saving investing being in power doing something with your life girl ugh, ugh. that's how they that's how they interact with me you know Um, let me see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of broke men are afraid, honestly. If y'all notice, men don't really troll me like that. They don't even bother you guys, like, because they know that all of you guys are so empowered and everything that y'all aren't on some dummy stuff, you know? <laughs> like, they don't, if y'all notice, like, it's, it's, girl femi non-binary power as my stuff is like 
a lot of men do not troll me because it's not dumb stuff so they're like oh it's kind of nothing they can say you know all they can do is really sit back and watch and that's i guess that's what broke men do or men that can't keep up i guess that's what they do um thank you thank you uh i saw a great question what advice would you give to someone who has never dated or never had experience before Honestly, you will have your whole life to date. People are dating at like 65. You don't have anything to worry about, okay? Um, also, just be yourself. Um, natural allure is your flirtation. You're being your natural self, you know? Just being comfortable about around somebody is more than enough. You don't have to force it or anything because when you're comfortable around somebody, you can flirt with them. You know, just like <laughs> comfortable around job. <laughs> so yeah. Um Yeah. Um have I ever been heartbroken? Oh yes. I have definitely been heartbroken. Do you know how many fine rich men I done dated? Of course. <laughs> yes, I'd be like, oh damn, you know. I really, I really, really, ooh, I thought we was going to be together, baby. But honestly, I get over that after about a week or something. And so, yeah, because then I just move on to the next person. So, yeah. But at the moment, in the moment, when it's going down, and I'm like, oh, yeah, wow, that's, damn. Then, yeah, I'm heartbroken at that time. And usually, I use that time to find out find out more about life, find out more about the world, find out more about people's behaviors and interactions and where it's coming from. I don't really use that time to, like, blame myself. I guess that's what a lot of people do in heartbreaks. Like, oh, my God, nobody's ever going to love me again. Nobody's ever going to want this pussy. Like, I think that's what people be doing in heartbreaks. I don't. I just sit back and I just think about what, how did it get there, you know, where did this come from and how it relates to other people you know you want to just wear something simple heels yeah i did cover that on youtube um yes congratulations on graduating you know i think i think that's what people think heartbreak is I don't really go through all of that like oh my god nobody's ever gonna want to beat this pussy again ah, you know like I never go through that um I also don't I don't be chasing them or anything listen it was one guy I quote unquote chased but it was only to get him back <laughs> so I was like I was feeling vengeful but I've changed I'm a change man now <laughs> so he thought it was weird too because he was like hmm he was like are you sure you really do want to see me and i was like yes of course i do i, I would love to see you spend some time with you can't wait to see you baby <laughs> he knew he knew he he must have done it. he knew his intuition was spot on because the first time he was not going for it he was like nah <laughs> it was like nah i don't believe this and then i was like why i'm trying to spend some time with you <laughs> He did not even believe it. But I finally got him. I finally convinced him. And yeah, I got his ass back. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> yes. So yeah. That's the only time I'm, if I'm chasing you, just know you got something coming, buddy. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. It's just so crazy. So crazy. Um... Yeah, so if I'm chasing you down, you already know you got something coming. I'm about to open Pandora's box on you. But, uh, yeah, um, people, we get to be harbor because we put all our eggs in one basket. Yeah, cuffing after one or two dates. Oh, my God. I don't know why people do that. When you can have 
dates, multiple dates with different ones. <laughs> like, I just never understand that. Like, you could be going to nice places all the time. I just never understand that thinking. <laughs> like, I just never understand that. I'm like, oh, you can have, like, at least three other ones doing the same thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my God. But, um... Yeah, I don't really experience heartbreak to the point where I'm, like, really devastated, can't move, depressed, or anything like that. I really take that time to reflect on their behavior, how it relates to me, what I missed, or what in my history made me miss whatever they did, like, in their behavior. Or if it, if they, I, honestly, most times I'm leaving people alone because I'm like, look, you just being a whole fucking weirdo and it's annoying the shit out of me. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I don't have time for this. Just, bye. Just, uh. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. If, that's how I feel about it too. If I'm cutting somebody off because they're being annoying, this is how I think about it. I could be having 10 other niggas annoying me right now. And I'm dealing with you. Like, you're not special. You don't get to annoy me. Like, you don't get to annoy me, okay? I could, have, I could be getting paid for this or something. Like, I'm not, I'm not sitting over here dealing with your attitude. <laughs> you're not my husband. Like, you're not my husband. I don't have to do it. We don't have no kids. Like, that's how I think about it. Kids, like I could block you, I could block you, forget your name. Like, I'm probably not gonna remember your name next year anyway, so I don't care. <laughs> you know, that's just how I, I feel. Like, it's like, especially, I'm not holding, I'm not holding down somebody that's annoying me. I, that's it's not going down. I'm not holding down somebody that's annoying me. I'm, yeah, most likely, I'm gonna forget their name by the in a year or so anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know you like that. <laughs> like, what's your last name? What's your middle name? Who is your mom? Like, who are you? <laughs> I'm getting on my nerves. <laughs> Block? <laughs> that's how I think. That's how I think about it. You know, like that's how I think about it. Thank you. That's how I think about it. I'm just like, you know, who are you? Like getting on my nerves like this? You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> It's just no, it's just nothing. Uh, block, you know that's that, that's done and over with. I'm not. Uh, you getting on my nerves? We don't know each other no more. Okay, that's it. That's the end of that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even uh, waste too much energy on that. I don't have the tolerance for that, you know, because I, this is how I feel. I feel like I bring, you know, I'm not going to cause you to be going insane and everything like that. So give me that same respect or you got to go, you know, you got to go because if I'm respecting your time by not bringing you a bunch of issues and bringing you a bunch of problems and interrupting your life course by doing whatever, Give me that same respect or you have to go. That's it. I don't really have time. I'm not tolerating people like they're my children ever. It's not happening. That's just never, never, ever, 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 ever happening. So, yeah. <laughs> we need a podcast. Nah, y'all not about to be working me. Got me on YouTube, Twitter, uh, Instagram, private sessions. Now I'm about to put out a book. I'm not about to work me like no Hebrew slave, okay? Okay? I need to sleep too, okay? I need this. I need to sleep too, okay? <laughs> I'm not about to work me like no slave. Because <laughs> as soon as I get the podcast, y'all going to be like, oh, now we need a whole... Now we need a mixtape. <laughs> After I get the mix, I'm be like, okay, y'all, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get y'all the mixtape. 
Now we need personal phone calls and personal emails out to us every morning. <laughs> Y'all not working me like no slave. Oh, no. No, this is my life. Slavery is over. Okay? <laughs> Emancipation proclamation. Okay? <laughs> not over here. Okay? <laughs> Oh, see, y'all talk about shows. Oh, no, 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 no. I need time to sleep, okay? No, no. <laughs> now we need an app. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, we need some t-shirts. Can we get some jewelry? <laughs> Hell no, okay? Slavery is over. <laughs> Slavery is over. Y'all not working me. ABM <laughs> the musical. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> No, y'all are hilarious. Y'all are hilarious. No, 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 no. Okay? This is a one-man band over here. I don't think y'all understand. I don't have no assistance, okay? This is one band, one sound, okay? You better listen to the sounds that I got going on now, okay? That's all y'all getting, okay? Oh, my God. There's one band, one sound over here. <laughs> I, I don't have no help, okay? I don't have no help. I'm doing all of this by myself, okay? Y'all not about to have me out here all, doing all, all of this. Like, <laughs> oh, got to go on YouTube, got to get on Twitter, got to get on Instagram, got to write the book, got to talk to my clients, got to do this. Like, I am not, uh -uh, no, no, <laughs> no. 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 How do you know if somebody's taking you on dates because he likes you or because he wants to have sex with you? Well, I feel like uh, unless you are a virgin and they're all celibate or they're celibate or something like that, most of the time the goal is to somehow get some physical interaction with you at some point or get to know somebody to hang out with. You know, you don't know if you really like somebody until you really meet them and go on a date with them so if they already decided after like on the date that they're and they're making sexual comments after on the first date then it's not that they just want to have sex with you it's probably just they're a very backed up individual <laughs> so that's something they're going to have to take care of on their own time you know that's what they're going to have to do because um and they probably just don't have a lot of self-control. That's just what it is. Because um, there's a lot of people who are abstinent, celibate, and everything. And they go on dates all the time without the intentions of having sex. Even if they want to have sex with you. They still go out and can relax, you know? So, if he's, go if he's making a bunch of comments or something on the first date and you guys just met like 30 minutes ago, an hour ago... Then he's just backed up and he needs to he needs to talk to Pornhub about that. That's what he needs. That's exactly who he needs to contact. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Cause we are all virgins over here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's how he needs to talk to about or Pornhub, you know. But most of the time, you know, um, a lot of people think a lot of men uh, are more sinister than what they are. And I feel like this is also something that brainwashes a lot of us into fear, right? So men can be dangerous like everyone else, but um, they are not that smart I'm sorry, I can't figure out a way to say that. They're not like 
it's very easy <laughs> to see what they are um, getting at, you know? So if you feel like they're getting at sex or whatever, they're trying to get over on you somehow, you just have a clear mind. If you feel like the shit is weird that's going on, like if you feel like some shit is weird, it's weird. Because they're not that, you know, they're not like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Like, they're not that hard to, like, figure out, you know? Like, they're just, they're not that hard. At, they're not that smart when it comes to hiding motivations, you know? They're not that that smart. Unless you're dealing with a real certified sociopath. But most of them locked up, so, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so they're not, they don't, you know, uh, the average man don't really know all these tips and tricks. And then look at, listen, look at who they listen to. They listen to these dating coaches that look like, <laughs> they look like they did all of the crack before they filmed the video. Like they did the whole, the whole boat, you know, the whole shipment that came in and they listen to them, you know, the guys listen to them. So <laughs> They really not that smart. <laughs> they're not that smart. You know, they not they ain't all together up here. Okay? They're not all together up here. <laughs> Look at the people they listen to, you know. <laughs> Look at the people who they try to live like. They're not, you know, they're not the brightest crayons in the box, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Okay, they're not. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to you don't have to be afraid. If they you'll know what they're up to because they'll tell you. They'll tell you. You don't have nothing to be afraid of. I mean, just take a look at who they're listening to. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's true because um um uh and they and once you like get comfortable with thinking like, "Oh, wait, this is not something ain't right about this." Once you get comfortable with admitting that to yourself, You'll find that you'll run into less problems. I'm telling you, you'll run into less problems. People will bring less problems to you because they can see it on your face, you know? Like, like, um, don't, they'll try less things when they can tell that you are aware, <laughs> you know? But most of the time, you guys can tell because they're not that smart anyway. So, you know, you guys got this. You definitely got this. You know, you definitely, definitely have it. So, yeah. So, you guys, I have to get ready to film for you guys, work for my clients, and I will be talking to you guys later. You guys, these lives will be up for the next 24 hours. I will see if I can post them on YouTube, but if I can't get them on YouTube, do not try to jump me in my DMs, okay? I'm tired of getting cursed out, you know? I'm tired of getting cursed out ideas if I can't get it on YouTube so I am about to go and I love you guys and I will talk to you guys later <laughs> next time I'll last much time and mustache next time <laughs>